the whole video before you before you do the uh, technique um, uh, also having the trigger point release for the hip um, we work on the glute muscles all of the structures around the glute and the hips that's what I'm going to be working on right now I have my ball behind me I'm going to use a support and I'm just going to basically go on the ball. So here I have actually the baseball. I was gonna try and use this, the big T-ball, soft ball, but um, I'm gonna have to move the mat closer so I can use it to put the ball on so that it doesn't slide. There we go. And I might have to go on my side. Let's try here, like I said, in the glutes um, and lower closer to the attachment of, I'm not quite there, but it's closer to the attachment of the hamstring. I'm just above it though. And I'm gonna release a bit of tissue there. And then we'll go to the gluteal. Oh, there we go, that's a good spot. So yeah, I'm pretty much at the ischial tuberosity, which is where your uh, hamstrings do attach at the Ischial tuberosity of the issue. And that's a really good spot in there. It's traveling all the way around into the front. And that's what's been giving me some trouble. So I'm just gonna take my time and work that. It's going down into my hamstring, definitely back here. And if it's easy for you to see, I don't have a camera on the side currently, so um, as soon as we can get our GoPro back going, uh, we will add it as a different angle. So that's working. I actually try to work on that a little bit. So it's a little bit less now than it was earlier. I'm on mobile, yet it's still um, quite bothersome and uh, with certain movement, it can get triggered. So just on the outside of the sacrum into the right gas, um, at the right uh, gluteal maximus and uh, actually at the base uh, of the sacrum where we have some hip external rotator muscles. Not necessarily much pain there, I mean some discomfort but and I'm going to turn to that side with my legs and keep my upper body facing up just to get a bit of a stretch in there and working up into all of those structures. Let's go into um, uh, co coordinate here, correspond with uh, 
getting a bit into the piriformis, more medially, and it's a bit of a stinging kind of feeling. So that's because we're closer to the um, sciatic nerve. So as a result, that stinging feeling um, is normal. That's, that goes along with any uh, compression that you create through the soft tissue, uh, muscular and um, uh, tenderness and fascia as well as um, the sciatic nerve is running through the side on well, both sides but each side just get it all right i'm trying to rest my head back not holding my neck and i keep moving my body down so that i can move a bit higher on to the gluteal muscles getting closer to the uh, posterior part of the ilium, getting closer to the lumbar region where there the there's more fascia restrictions as well with attachments of uh, for example your upper part of the glutes meeting with your as well quadratus lumborum so i'm not quite there but that's going in that area where everything meets okay now i got my head relaxed back onto the pillow i'm off the table that's just above and that's a good area so here i'm getting close to a little indentation we have two of those little indentations on either sides of the hips in the back here and they're called uh, PSIS or posterior iliac uh, spine or posterior superior they're exactly called posterior superior iliac spines lots of attachments there uh, lots of ligaments and tendons uh, lots of ligaments, uh, attachments there. So it feels like a bone pain, a little bit of uh, stinging um, and referring into the hip, but I, that is what exactly what I need. All of this that I've been doing for the last, whatever it is, five, ten, probably at least ten minutes. So you do, do have to work through it and take your time. So basically I'm right in here on the right side, on my right side, since that's where I was having an issue and that feels really good. It's a good hurt, we'll say. Okay, and breathe. Breathe in, get that oxygen nice into your lungs and body. You can hold for a few seconds and exhale nice and slow through your mouth. Breathe in nice and slow through your nose. Hold for a few seconds and then exhale through your mouth. So I keep slowly sliding. I have the ball, my body downwards this way. So that's allowing the ball to be higher up on my body in doing so. And as much as this is very uncomfortable, it is so helpful. So I'm more over here now, on this side. Okay, 
and I'm gonna keep turning over a bit on the side here with my hips so I can't go too much more my, with my hip except just turning my body over to my side now and I'm right in here with the ball all right so now I'm gonna move to the floor in the middle here and I'm gonna work these tissues on the side oh, it actually feels better it did release a lot of tension through here I was right all I started from here and worked all the way up in here so I was right here and here here all of this that's really all I did this whole time I work in this area. So you go with really slow, minute motion. Um, it doesn't take much shifting to really feel releases elsewhere. And that was wrapping all the way into the front. So just to do a little bit more on the front here. Actually, I'm gonna do it this way so that you can see it better here. And it is just a, the baseball. And I'm just on my stomach and I'm right in the front. On my forearms, as you see, and then my other leg, however you're comfortable. If you don't have the flexibility to do like a butterfly or half butterfly with the opposite leg, then you're gonna need to improvise what works for you with your flexibility and with your pain uh, tolerance or as I don't know where you stand in regards to those details. So here I'm definitely on the front of the hip. So we're talking uh, rectus femoris and um, tensor fascia latae I'm more on uh, definitely rectus femoris here so I'm actually gonna go all the way to the floor with my body and just kind of work that out a bit it's not the ideal position but one thing that can help I'm bringing my other legs since I have the flexibility to do that Otherwise, you could put a bunch of pillows here and get you comfortable as much as you can so that you can relax onto the ball with less tension and get that released. So I want to keep my foot in this position flexed here so that I can get into the rectus femoris a little bit better if you would like you could put even a towel right here underneath you know below um, in the middle lower portion of the thigh on the knee and above the knee and that might allow you to extend your knee more and leave it like this to really get uh, a deeper stretch so here i'm doing that without the bar without the a towel or or um or blanket but that's but it would be a lot easier on you on your body if you do it with uh, something some props like that like a towel or a nice square pillow and work in there Now I'm going to go more on the side. And I'm resting my leg down. Again, you could still have a towel. You could have a pillow here to rest your head on the pillow. I don't have one here, so I'm not going to use it because I didn't plan to go this far with this, but why not? So I'm going to go just on my side like this. And I'm showing you from this way so you get an idea what it feels like. That's a good spot there. 
So you get to see that. Now I'm gonna turn around and do the same thing facing you. It's basically right in here. So you have the hip bone in here and below in here. Okay, so now we're more into those um, the IT band and glute and depending how high I would go um, gluteal minimus. And if you go lower then you get more into your IT band and uh, eventually vastus lateralis area. So I need to be a bit lower it seems like right at the level of the greater trochanter that's where the joint is right here so i'm kind of in this area um, on my right side and i'm gonna go a bit lower there we go my other leg is in front and let's work this out that's good now this is going on the inside of my thigh here but on the right side it's traveling all the way around to the front and inside. It's even going a bit down in here. My body shifted there. There we go. I'm going to stretch like this. There we go. This is a good stretch. I can I show that into some of my videos of stretching actually. Hip stretches has those uh, exercises of twisting your body, same with your leg up against the wall, which is a start to do the plow. So my back has always cracked. Um, it's always done that when I do these kinds of exercises. It does shift. It's not the same as it used to be, the sound or the amount of them, but it's, uh, it's there and that's because of tendons and ligaments being uh, quite tight and just causing friction and um, that's causing that clonking sound. Okay, so now let's get to the right um, psoas muscle. So here I have the bone here and I'm gonna go right on the inside of it and put the um, pressure on that way. Actually, I think I did work both sides. Nice deep breath in and exhale. Nice deep breath in and exhale. Breathe in, exhale. Now let's try and open the thigh. Actually, we're going to do the opposite side, not the one that has the bar on the side, the other side.
can come off of it, so lift your body up, and the ball will fall on the floor. Alrighty, so it feels better, so you take it easy, just checking. So now we're going to be able to do a little bit of exercises with those hips, and if you need to take a pee break, go ahead and do that, and I will be right back. Okay, so now that we had a little bathroom break, get a sip of whatever you're drinking right now, I'm going to attend to the side of the thigh, the IT band. And I'm using the psoas ball, so the widest side is higher up. And I actually have been liking to use that. Besides this one, it's really nice too, but I've been trying lately to experiment with this double-sided ball, uh, which is uneven, but that's the purpose to, to be able to access to the psoas. However, it can be used anywhere on the body. And here, uh, this positioning, as I have the ball on the side, basically on my greater trochanter here, on that bony permanence here, so it will be straight like this, on the other side, and then it's basically right here. And I'm going to get into the IT band, in the OTBA band, and I'm stretching my low back here on this side, as I am addressing that right thigh, I was saying often the side that's giving you trouble uh, and hurting, uh, the opposite side is a side that has the imbalance uh, and the tightness, so definitely I feel tight here on this left side, so I'm trying to stretch that out. as I am relaxing the right hip and also I'm going to put my leg more neutral here so I'm not tightening the front of my left hip and I'm going to move more into the back here. I feel tension going all the way uh, below my knee right into here actually and in the back of the leg and the calf too. So you work all of this out slowly and eventually this part of the piriformis. Actually, and I'm just gonna bring my knee up towards me. I'm putting this hand on the floor behind my hip, so behind my sacrum. So as my body lean and to the left side, I have my hand here. You can see my fingers here. My hand is underneath, supporting, and I can even move a bit the ball and reposition it and kind of hold it there so it doesn't move. And I go across and go like this. So I'm going more into those external hip rotator muscle and this is referring actually down behind my knee. I'm going to stretch my left leg. That's going to put more pressure on the spot and stretch it a bit differently and really get in there. So I'm at the base of the sacrum, at the top here at the angle, but on the outside of that angle, of that triangle, at the top of the flat part in the corner. I'm 
just on the outside of it and let's go into my le uh, right um, lateral gastrocnemius muscle okay now we're gonna do the other side stretching so I'm gonna put the ball on the left just to give a little bit of a break to the right and get a stretch into the back here so I'm gonna go on the side and rotate my body sideways So this side I'm a lot more flex flexible in here. My left side is definitely tighter. So it's good to work this side with a ball on my left side because I want to work on stretching that left side. In order to do that, I have to work those tissues with the ball as well. Because if I never work those tissues with the ball, they're not going to release. So that's what I'm doing on the glute right now. Even though it's not the area where I'm having uh, the pain, it's where the tightness is more actually. So as you can see, my body can go all the way here in twisting. I cannot do this on the right. Just the side doesn't want to go here. Too much tightness in there. So it comes all in here. All right, let's do the IT band. So um, I'm gonna move the ball way lower. Move the pillow a bit and go onto my right side to release the IT iliotibia band for a moment. Oh, yeah. On the side a bit more to get into that ilio tibia band.
that was a really good spot and that's going in all of those areas so what you could do is put a blanket underneath here that would be ideal so i'm gonna go grab a blanket actually because that's what we need i have one right here and i'm gonna go right back into that same position and i am hopeful that we will get rid of that pain by working this Find the spot again. And put the pillow, the towel, right on the hip or just above. You don't want to be too low with the towel or the blanket because then it's not going to allow the ball to do what it's supposed to be doing on your IT band. It's just to support your back. That's a good spot. There we go. Perfect. I'm going to move a bit, roll a bit forward with my body, putting more pressure. You could even add another towel right here. So I could have the ball here resting my foot on top of it to keep everything aligned. There we go. And that's really all you need. It's just for some kind of a support. Now this is really good. Super painful, but super effective. So my right IT band has given me trouble before. Once, last time it was about five or six years ago. I can't remember, 2015 maybe it was, or 16. I can't remember, 2015. Uh, when, uh, might have been 16. When Wayne did a, they, he attempted to do a 200 mile, I believe it was a sulfur spring um, they had some issues and it was just Wayne and his partner Tim who were going to gonna keep relaying for 200 kilometers every 24 kilometers or so oh, um, and um, yes so basically I had to jump in and do one of the lap. I had not trained that year at Sulphur Spring, which is pretty hilly. I had trained running, just not there, just on flats. And at the last bit of that race, I did it still in, uh, I don't know if it was under three hours or two hours and something minutes, I believe, uh, which is decent. Uh, but part of it towards the end was i don't think i was walking per se but i was jogging limping and in a lot of pain now this is some and that's because of this tightness i get here so when i overdo it uh, then this becomes an issue so i need to attend to it and do this more regularly even when my hip is not an issue or my it band Sometimes we learn from our mistakes. Well, not sometimes. That's usually how it works. Okay, so I'm gonna move my body a bit forward, but I'm moving the ball a bit back because I wanna stay in that general vicinity.
Okay, I think this was good. This helped a lot. So this hamstring, hamstring is definitely uh, in trouble. It's, uh, it's super tight right now. It seized up on me. So I need to get my hamstring uh, stretched. And I might need some fascia release on it in order to get it to feel better. So that you sit up on your like this and then you stand up. It's better, definitely better, but I have a bit of a seizing of my hamstring right now on my right side. So I'm gonna attend to that with some more stretching and probably a fascia treatment session. Seizing the cards will never be separated till we see in the guards. We've been low together, high forever. Long as we go together, we'll die. We'll never be a light. Couldn't let the darkness try you ever. Truth in my word, you I lie to never end. When the world gets a little too hard, wipe your eyes, put away your sorrow. When it's war, I'll be leading the charge. And I'll be still fighting for your time.